Hey guys, how's it going? Brian from Brian Boas here. Today I want to give you an update on my 2020 locality boa breeding. We'll take a close-up look at some of my baby boas that were born recently, including my Hog Island and Crawl Key dwarf boas. I'll tell you how they're doing and when they might be for sale. And I'm also going to say a little bit about how my remaining gravid female boas are doing and when I expect the babies. So unfortunately, I don't have any baby Argentine boas this year, like this one, but I plan on pairing up my Argentine sometime in the next few years, and hopefully I'll have some babies then. So regarding my Hog Island and Crawl Key babies, I have some good news and bad news. First is the bad news. I haven't been able to get at my Hog Island babies to eat yet. So all four of them have refused food several times, no interest in live, uh, fuzzy mice. I've tried a few tricks which haven't been successful so far. I have a few more tricks that I'm going to try and hopefully it'll work but we'll have to see. Uh, incidentally I plan on doing a video in the not too distant future about these tricks you can use to get reluctant baby boas to feed and I'll let you know how they did for me. So the Hog Island babies aren't going to be ready to sell in the near future but hopefully they'll start eating in the next month or so just want to make sure that they have at least four or five meals in them before they go out to their new homes so the good news is that the crawl key boas are almost all feeding so of the 13 babies 10 of them ate no problem and most of them have eaten at least twice so i imagine that these animals are going to be ready in the not too distant future for sale probably in another few weeks and I plan on posting them up at faunaclassifieds.com and I'll have a link below in the description of future videos to all my Fauna Classified ads. So if you're interested in possibly picking up one of my babies, you can go there and have a look. So now I want to show you close up some of the beautiful hog and quail key boas that were born here in the last month or so. So here's one of the baby hog island boas. These guys are a little over a month old now. And as you can see, they have beautiful pink and orange coloration to their sides. These are pure Sears bloodline with the breeding stock originating from Vin Russo of Cutting Edge Herp. And what I like about these is they really retain the natural look of the Hog Island Boa. A lot of breeders have bred out the speckling and the background markings and they just have these like clean like really washed out looking hog islands these definitely have that nice natural wild look to them with the speckling so they're going to be you know beautiful adult colorful hog island boas and one more example of a baby hog island boa you can see this one actually has a little more of the cool background speckling so just beautiful looking animals um, a lot of people have asked me about what sex they are, and I don't sex them until they've had a few meals. I just want to give them time to adjust. So I don't know of the four babies. I don't know how many males and how many females I have so far. I probably won't know for another few weeks, so just bear with me. Um, but as I mentioned, these hog islands unfortunately aren't eating yet. So it's going to be a little while. I just need to have make sure they're eating and have eaten at least four or five meals before they'll be ready to go and uh, you know could be off to their new homes I'm going to show you some of the crawl key baby boas right now and this one has a really cool look to it you can see it's got this stripe towards its tail and then the more typical blotches on its tail and then the frontal two-thirds or so of its body has the more typical blocky saddles but the beautiful steel gray color this is a real nice one. This one I may keep, or she might be for sale, he or she, I, I haven't probed them or sexed them yet. But I'll probably keep, I don't know, maybe two or three, depending on how much space I have. But there will be a, quite a few of these guys up for sale in another few weeks, so please stay tuned. Here's a nice crawl key baby. This is a pretty typical looking one. You can see... A little bit of striping towards the tail, but the blotches towards the tail tend to be a little more irregular than the rest of the body. But you can see the nice, beautiful, silvery gray color. Almost a little bit of a blue tint to it as well. 
They're just really beautiful looking babies. And I think this is one of my favorites. This one I'm probably going to keep here as a whole back. But this one has quite a bit of a long tail stripe. You can see how long that stripe looks on her tail. And then her uh, front two thirds of her body has the more typical looking saddle shape markings. Also cool head markings on this one. But you know, beautiful steel gray color. You can't beat these baby qual kiboas. And one more, this is another really nice animal. This one has the more traditional, or the more typical, I should say, blocky looking saddles. But real nice symmetry to the saddles on this one. Nice overall color. The color gets a little bit lighter. Maybe I'll take out one of my older qual keys. But they're a little bit darker as when they're babies. And they also tend to get darker and lighter during the day. So right now they're just a little bit darker for whatever reason. But they do lighten up uh, both you know, with time of day and with age. Just a beautiful dwarf boa for someone that wants a real nice pet boa that they can handle and that they can admire its beautiful coloration. But it comes in a much more practical pint-sized package if you don't have a lot of space for a big boa constrictor. I thought I'd grab this three-year-old female crawl key boa for the last segment, just so you get an idea of what the crawl key babies might look like three years from now. So you can see she's still quite small, maybe three feet long or so. Just real nice, beautiful animal. So I just wanted to end by saying a little bit about my sales. I'm still getting a lot of questions from people that are possibly interested in my boas. Um, I don't take any deposits until babies are ready to go. So um, I also don't do uh, waiting lists. So as I've said before, I had tried waiting lists in the past, but I found that I would get this whole long list of people and when the time finally came that the babies were ready to go, I'd reach out to them and most of them I wouldn't hear anything back and those who responded were no longer interested or they didn't have the money or things like that. So I just don't have the bandwidth to keep these lists and to go after people. Um, but as soon as my babies are ready and they're for sale, as I mentioned before, I'll let you guys know in uh, video updates. And I plan on listing them at faunaclassifieds.com and we'll have the link to the fauna ad uh, right below where you can go to. So I imagine that the qual key babies I'll have listed in about three or four weeks and they'll be up for sale. I just have to get a few more meals in them, but so far they look like they're establishing really well and they're all really nice and healthy. The last thing I wanted to say is you, if you've been following these updates, I still have two more gravid females. They're both true red-tailed boas, boa constrictor, constrictor. I have a Suriname and a Peruvian, a couple of Peruvian. And both of these animals are due sometime in the first few weeks of September. So it's gonna be probably another two to four weeks. Sometimes the BCC can be a little variable when they give birth. Um, but still have my fingers crossed and I'm really hopeful for some beautiful true red tail boas of both the Peru and Suriname localities. Uh, so just stay tuned and as soon as I have updates, I'll let you guys know in a future video. If you're not already a subscriber to the Brian Boas YouTube channel, go ahead and subscribe now because you don't want to miss any future updates on uh, my baby boa availability as well as boas that are going to be born as well as new episodes on all different topics on keeping and breeding boas always with these beautiful animals to look at at no extra charge i hope this was helpful as always shoot me a message or comment below if you have any questions about anything thanks for tuning in and while we're waiting for these beautiful babies to be born and for sale why don't you go check out some of my other videos that I have already on a whole bunch of different topics about boas and breeding boas, as well as videos on specific localities like the Kralke and the Hog Island.